Angie Machado, BeaverBlitz.com, joined with quarterback coach Kevin McGiven. Kevin, welcome to Oregon State. Thank you. Fall camp starts. Talk about what you're most excited about. Um, you know, really, really just excited to get back out there with with the guys, and you know, the, the the whole team, and continue to develop relationships with those guys. Continue to be able to develop players. I mean, that's that's what we're in the in this business for to develop players and to and to develop young men, you know, into men, and and you know, just excited for the opportunity to get back there, back out there with them. It's it's an exciting group to coach. There's a you know, there's a lot of talent, and you can tell they've put in a lot of hard work over the summer to to get themselves ready physically and mentally, and and you know, they they've They've been challenged and, and, you know, up to this point have, have responded really, really well to the challenges that have been issued to them. And, and uh, you know, so just excited to get out there, continue to improve, continue to work, and hopefully put ourselves in a, in a position to be successful this year. So, so you're, you're going to be with a freshman quarterback. Like it or not, you're a freshman quarterback. Does that make your job being a new transition, does it make it easier that you get to mold the guy? Or would you rather go in with, you know, Sean Mannion? Well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't say I wouldn't rather go in with Sean, man. I mean, you know, yeah, obviously, yeah. you know, w- when you have a veteran that's got a lot of experience, there's there's something to be said for that, and and you know, and they they bring a lot to the table, and and having that game experience, you know, can can be can be critical, you know, but but I but I don't shy away from the challenge of having a having a freshman quarterback, like you said, um, you know, a lot of times a freshman quarterback can be a little bit more impressionable, and and. And yeah, you you, you, yeah, well, and, you know, sometimes bad habits can be hard to break, but you know, with enough repetition, um, you, you know, you can usually do that. But, but you know, they're young minds, and and you know, and so hopefully, like you said, you can mold them into the type of player you want them to be. And um, you know, and so that's the exciting part about coaching young players. And and you know, we're we're never going to use the label or the excuse in our room that. You know, we're young or we're a freshman. And, you know, the the bottom line is 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 someone's got to take the first snap. Someone's got to be ready to play, and and someone's got to not only be ready to play, be but be able to execute at a championship level for us to win games. And so, you know, just looking forward to to you know hopefully putting someone in that position. So, so switching gears a little bit, talk a little bit about recruiting. What maybe where your territory is, and then your mentality. What are you looking for? Your philosophy. Is there some special magic combo or a chip on your shoulder or speed, all the above? You know, what do you, what do you look for? Um, you know, I, I, I don't know if it's if it's really different than, than any other coach out there. You know, obviously we have, you know, each position coach, um, you know, kind of defines really what they're looking for in a position and, and, and what criteria that they would like mm-hmm. in a player. And, and so we kind of use those as guidelines to um, – you know to recruit different positions and, and you bring film back then yeah and, and you know um and that's you know so, some some teams will recruit by position yeah. Yeah. some teams will recruit by area you know coach anderson i think felt it was important for us to recruit by area just to be able to establish relationships and and for coaches to be able to kind mm-hmm. of see the same face um you know in, in their school mm-hmm. and and you know because that's that's a very important part of recruiting is developing those relationships not only with the play the players and the people around mm-hmm. them but but um you know being in the schools yeah. and being with the coaches and things like that and so so that's very important about having an area and then like i said from from the area, then we use kind of the guidelines that the position coach has, has set to set to find kids. But you know, there, there's it, it's extremely important that that we find the type of player that you know we feel like can be successful mm-hmm. in in Corvallis and and can be successful with the requirements of our program. You know, Coach Anderson doesn't have a whole bunch of rules mm-hmm. um, for our guys, but you know, there's a very you know there's a set set of core values that we expect guys to follow and and. And you know, to me, players that we recruit have to be displaying that you yeah. know in in high school and and have to be high character guys and and match what we want as as far as their work ethic. You know, we're we're not we're not we're not scared to evaluate and offer players that you know that nobody else has offered. We're going to trust our evaluations and 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 trust our ability to bring players in and and develop them. Mm-hmm. And you know, and so I, I think that is a key component for us right now is just to trust that trust it, yeah. and and bring them in and, and turn them into turn them into good players and and you know, like I said, hopefully, character wise and work ethic wise that they that they fit the model that we have. So, uh, what region do you have? I've I've got Arizona okay. and Dallas. Okay, so t- Corvallis. You know, I asked this question mm-hmm. earlier. It's the Pac-12 is so big city rich. Mm-hmm. I mean, do you see Corvallis then as, as a benefit? being a college champ you know i i I really do you know um i i've got a 15 year old right now and you know and if he's got the opportunity to play college football 
you know, Corvallis is something that I would be looking for yeah. <laughs> as yeah. a parent. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, and so I, so I've been kind of trying to put myself in their shoes, but, I, but I think that's a definite selling point. Um, you know, just ha- having a, having a little bit smaller college town, you know, to me where there's not a lot of distractions, mm-hmm. you know, parents are going to send their kids away to school for, you know, if they're coming on an athletic scholarship, it's really for two reasons. One, one's to get a degree and, and one's to hopefully play at a, at a very, very high level, you know, in, in whatever, whatever sport that they're in. And, you know, I, I don't think there's a, a better setting to do that than in, the, than in a small college town where there's not a lot of distractions that are able to focus on those things. And then, and then I also think it creates a unique environment within the team. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. You know, the, the, forces guys to to be around each other and to hang out with each other and the coaching staff you know the barbecues and yeah no no question you know we've we've got a a bunch of coaches that kind of live in the same neighborhoods and we're you know we're able to get together wives are able to get together Mm -hmm. things like that and so to me it creates a little bit more of a family environment Mm -hmm. and um you know and i i've noticed that you know even from the place that i came it was very very similar in logan and and i you know it was kind of that same same feel at at utah state as it Mm -hmm. is here a little bit smaller college town you know but but you you, know, you can feel the energy. You can feel the excitement. You know who the home team is. That was one of the things that our athletic director pointed out to us. You know, is is it, it, it's not hard to yeah, yeah. to tell who the home team is when you're when you're in Corvallis and in these surrounding areas and in Oregon. Yeah, you know, yeah. and and so it's it's fun to be a part of that. Your family made good transition. Are they enjoying it. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. They they are. Yeah, um, you know, we we some of those transitions we had made kind of the middle of the year and gotten them into school before mm-hmm. the school year ended. Um, they came at the end of the. Year. and okay. so it's always always a process meeting yeah. people and stuff like that but they're excited to get to school and and get going they're, they're starting to get involved in some of the sports program local sports programs and youth programs and stuff like that and, and so that they've been through it a couple times and you know and so I, I wouldn't say they're totally numb yeah. to it but <laughs> maybe a little bit used to it so great beaver fans first look here coach kevin mcgiven the quarterbacks coach stay tuned to beaver blitz